InfraWorks has the capability to drape two-dimensional data across terrain surfaces. This makes it the perfect tool for presenting road and car park line markings. Here, we have a proposed line marking design to match our car park surface created in Civil 3D. The file is simply made from two-dimensional polylines representing the parking bays, hatched areas and general road signage. For InfraWorks to use this data, we need to export each type of marking to its own spatial data file or SDF. We can do this by isolating each layer and using the map dwg to SDF command. We have two different processes for two different colour lines, making four SDFs in total. The reason we're doing this will become more apparent when we initiate the import process inside of InfraWorks. For the parking bays and hatch lines, we can simply select the objects and click the export button. With the closed polyline road signage, such as the arrows and disabled bay symbols, we must ensure the Treat Closed Polylines as Polygons option is ticked under the Options tab of the Export dialog box. Like our other project files, we can save these files in BIM 360 for ease of access and collaboration. If the two-dimensional road marking design was to progress or change, we can simply overwrite the previous created spatial data files with the updated information. In InfraWorks, we import the spatial data files using the same process by using the Data Sources tab and selecting SDF from the drop-down menu. Now, the reason we segregated our SDF exports earlier was because when we import the data into InfraWorks, we can only select a single material or colour for that information. We also segregated the information by object, whether they were lines or closed polygons. This is because for the general parking bays, we need to specify a line thickness under the buffer option, in this case a 0.1 meter or 100 mm line thickness. You will have noticed that we can import the information using the specified coordinate system, so we don't have to manually align the data in InfraWorks. You can begin to appreciate how useful this workflow is when creating visualisations or federating models for various asset types, whether it is a building or a linear infrastructure project. The outcome will enhance the realism of your visualisations.